challenge, and I have brought this up many times to the, our committee, the committee I spoke about. And you've heard me speak about this in public. I have said that there are some places where culturally, unyenyekevu ule ambao unahitajika kazi zingine za nyumbani, si unyenyekevu ambao unapatikana sana kati ya watu wetu. So sometimes our people will not be so subservient and when they go to these countries and they're under contract, and in a country like in, in, the, in Saudi Arabia, their traditions around housework are very ancient, let's put it that way. So you find that the people who suffer the terrible beatings, the people who suffer uh, abuse, are usually people who are of that category house helps. But in that same country where we have over 100,000, 100,000 Kenyans working in different capacities in hotels, in transport, in taxis, we have no problem. So we have to ask ourselves, are we exporting the right category of personnel? And do they have the right capacity and training to understand that culture before they leave and go and work there. So we have a problem there. The Ministry of Labor is a ministry I have tried to work with very hard on this issue. And if they ever come here, please ask them this question. Why? It is the Ministry of Labor that prepares people to go for these jobs in the Middle East, not the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In fact, many of them don't even register with us. It's only when there's a problem that they loop back because the ambassador is there. So, it's a challenge. But I urge you to really be careful that as we deal with this problem, we don't destroy this amazing opportunity that we have for jobs 